Hello guys, welcome to LT Celeb Times. We find that the requirements for the registration of MK in terms of Section 15 of the Electoral Commission Act, read with the regulations and the annexures thereto, properly interpreted were met. The important point about Section 51 is that in peremptory terms it envisaged that the CEO, quote, shall, end quote, register an applicant as a political party upon application, sorry, quote, upon application by that party in the, quote, prescribed manner and form, end quote. We interpret this clause, quote, upon application, end quote, to require the CEO to have before him the application, quote, in the prescribed manner and form, end quote, when he registered the applicant as a political party. It matters not on the construction of the section that the, sorry, the construction of the section, the regulation and annexure one there to how the application came before him or whether it came before him in one go or in phases or for that matter in the proverbial quote drips and drabs end quote. Contrary to the ANC submissions, the absence of a reference to section 151 to quote supplementing end quote of the application does not detract from the fact that on a plain the ANC application has been dismissed. The registration of Umkonto Wesizwe MK party was not unlawful. The MK party will not be deregistered because the electoral court has ruled that the ANC waited too long to institute the court proceeding against the registration of MK party and failed to show why it waited so long. This is what Judge Mudiva said. The ANC had two opportunities to object to the registration of MK party and it failed to do so. It only has itself to blame. This is what Judge Motiva also said. Uh, that's it for now guys. Please subscribe to our channel for more. So the MK party will be on the ballot box and paper come 29 May. Thank you for watching.